Today we will go over transversals and parallel lines, and we will begin with the vocabulary for this unit. So first let me start with a transversal, that's a new word. Transversal is the line that intersects two or more coplanar lines. For example, if I have this line and if I have these two lines right here, the transversal will be the one line that cuts across my other lines. So you call this line the transversal. It's the one line, the one line that cuts across all my other lines. So when we talk about transversals, we have angles in here that are formed, and we are going to take a look at the special terms and properties for these angles. All right. So here we go. I'll start with the first one. It's our corresponding angles. Corresponding angles, we call it CA for short. Corresponding means matching. So which angles are supposed to be matching? For example, if I pick angle 1 up here on my first line, then if I go to my second line, what angle matches angle 1? In other words, notice angle 1 is on the top left side of this intersection. So if I go to the other intersection, what is on the top left side? It's going to be angle 5. So angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. And corresponding angles, when you have these two parallel lines, corresponding angles have a special property in that they are congruent. Another example of corresponding angles would be angle 8, which is on the bottom right side. So if I were to go to my other intersection, the bottom right side is angle 4. These are corresponding angles. Just like 1 and 5, 4 and 8 are my corresponding angles. They're matching. My next vocab word is alternate interior angles. Or AIA. So interior, when you're talking about these two parallel lines. Interior would be everything in the middle, inside these two parallel lines. So these are interior. And then exterior will be this side and this side. They're outside my two parallel lines. So when we talk about alternate interior angles, my interior numbers right here, interior, 3, 4, 5, and 6. If I were to pick 3, Alternate means it has to be on the other side of the transversal and in the other intersection. So alternate of 3 is 6. And alternate of 4 is angle 5. Just like with corresponding angles, alternate interiors are congruent. Next, we have vertical angles, which is something we've seen before. Vertical angles, when you have two lines that form an intersection, their angles opposite each other. One and four are vertical. Or, eight and five are vertical. And that vertical angles are also congruent. All right. My next term are alternate exterior angles. So my exterior numbers, 1, 2, and 7, 8, they're outside the two lines. Let's pick 2, for example. 
alternate. Again, alternate means on the other side of the transversal and the other intersection. Another way to think about it is alternates go diagonal. So from 2, my diagonal is 7. Remember, we're only looking at the exterior numbers. So we don't care about 3, 4, and 5, 6. None of these. So 2 and 7. Similarly, we have 8. This alternate exteriors with 1. Just like with alternate interiors, alternate exterior angles are congruent. So we have alternate exterior angles. Next one, we have same side exterior and same side interior angles. And I'll cover both. So let's start with same side interior angles. When we say interior, we're talking about this part in the middle, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I were to pick 4, for example, between 3, 4, 5, 6, which one is on the same side of the transversal as 4? In other words, 4 is on the right side of the transversal. So I want to pick the other number that's also on the right side of the transversal, 6. So 4 and 6 are same side interior angles. Okay. Next we have same side exterior angles. So exterior is 1, 2 out here and 7, 8 down here. If I were to pick 7, 7 is on the left side of my transversal. So my same side exterior is angle 1, which is also on the left side. Angle 1 and angle 7. The property this time is different. Same side interior angles are supplementary with each other. And same side exterior angles are also supplementary. Supplementary. Wish I had more room for that. Supplementary. And last but not least, we have linear pair. LP. Linear pairs are two adjacent angles that are supplementary. Adjacent meaning they are side by side, they're touching, they're right next to each other. And supplementary meaning together they add up to 180 degrees, they form a straight line. For example, here's one, angle one and angle two. They're side by side and together they form a straight line. So they're linear pair. Or we can also say five and seven are linear pairs. And as I mentioned, linear pairs are supplementary. So these are what we call our special angle pairs when we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. As far as what we're going to do with this goes, is we're going to use the properties, the congruence and supplementaries. And we will be looking at setting up equations, solving for x, and solving for the angles using these properties. That if they're equal, that means angle 8 and angle 1, they're equal to each other. And that's what we set up the equation with. Or if they're supplementary, that means angle 1 plus angle 7 equals 180. And that's what we're solving.